Hello YouTube and today I'll be doing a tutorial how to install a custom HUD for TF2 which is now converted to steam pipe since many of you guys had problems installing custom HUDs I decided to make a video to show you how to do it okay so in this case we'll be using the PV HUD most users uh, who use PV HUD had problems installing it when the TF2 converted to steam pipe yesterday Okay, so links will be in the description, be sure to check it out. And when you download pvhad.zip, you'll get this file placed on desktop. And I click extract here. Okay, so why we are doing this on desktop? Because now when the Steam Pipe is installed, you would usually install pvhad by going to Steam, Steam Apps, Username, and TF2 directory. But as you can see, it's no longer there. It's now in the common Team Fortress 2 uh, TF. So directory is changed, and you can style. You can't install anymore by that method. So we have another. So when you placed these three files on desktop, run pvhad.exe. It will update for you. Now press install. It will say that this exe must be located in your TF directory, but just ignore it and press OK. the custom PV HUD so it automatically as you can see made that custom folder and in here you got resource and scripts these are the two files which we'll be talking about so now minimize this and go to your TF directory and uh, by default you'll have a custom folder and there you should make a new folder called whatever you want to say I don't know, HUD underscore custom, doesn't mind, open it, and these two files, resource and scripts, copy them into that folder. Okay, so we've done the pr first part, now what you have to do is minimize this, again go to computer, C, program files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and now go to bin and scroll down until you see this VPK exe file. And now what you have to do, you have to this HUD custom where you are resources and scripts, you have to drag it to VPK exe so it can convert to VPK file which will load much faster. You can leave it like this, like HUD custom, but it's really better to make a VPK file. Okay, so uh, do not drag these two. That's uh, that are the most common mistakes. You have to drag the whole folder. So drag it down here. It will run the little batch operation, and in that folder it will make the HUD custom VPK. Okay, okay, so. Since I already done that, my folder was pvhad, so you can see it's pvhad.vpk. Uh, I'll delete this hard custom. And just to know, when you when you convert it to vpk file, also be sure to delete this original folder, so it's no longer there. Uh, so we'll now go to the game and see if it works and how does it look like. Okay, so this is the way the PV had uh, many looks like. Uh, PV had is actually made a minimalistic way to take less space, so you can see more details on screen. Okay, so I'll just get into a random server and show the the actual HUD in game. Okay, so this is the way the <coughs> HUD will look like in the game. This is Team Many, I'll draw red. 
Doesn't mind. And this is the class menu. Okay, so let's go pyro. Okay, so this is the actual HUD. It looks very good, very minimalistic. You can see uh, more details on screen. It's much more than the default HUD. It takes less space, and in my opinion, the best HUD. But if some of you guys don't like this many, uh, class many or team many these are can also be these can also be changed in PV hat settings so I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay so what you have to do is to repeat the whole process but change a few things in the settings. Okay so we are going to run again this PV hat exe install Okay. Now when you install PV head, go to settings. Here you can change the way main menu would look, look like, sorry, choose TF2 default and you can also choose T menu and class menu to be default one. So hit apply. And now go to custom and again these to files, folders, resource and scripts, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress, um, Tia, Custom, here you can make folder called HUD, and place those two files in here, so that's show how to do it again, I'll delete these files, so Open a new one. Steam, Steam apps, common, here and then. And again, as I showed earlier, select all this folder and run it here so it can be converted. When it's converted, delete this folder and you're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna see. Did we do it good and how does it look like in the game? Okay, so we reinstalled the HUD and this is the way it looks like pretty much same as the default except the HUD in-game and the scoreboard so I'm gonna show you how does it look like. Okay so we joined the server, this is the way the class menu looks like, the default one. This is the way the team menu looks like, the default one. So everything is default except the HUD itself and the scoreboard. Okay, so I hope this tutorial helped you. Thank you all so much for watching. Rate, comment, like, and possibly subscribe.